G'day, 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 you absolute bunch of bloody legends. Your old mate Loser Bump back here on your screen, ready to deliver some high quality, high production value internet content right to your home. Um, Want to take this opportunity to welcome some new people to the channel. We have subscribers like Yona, Jack Henderson, Hey Chan, and this weird guy called Mswick84. No idea what's up with that dude's name. Uh, anyway, welcome to this very exclusive and exquisite group. The fact that you've subscribed this channel shows you are people of very good taste and distinction. And uh, I will hope to uh, keep up with your expectations. Uh, it's been a long time again since the recent video. Lots of stuff. Um, very, very busy. And I was going to do one on the weekend, but then I called away. I had to go to Paris for the International French Ninja um, Association meeting festival reunion. And this is me there. I managed to meet up with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yukio Noguchi, who is a very, very high ranking ninja master. Uh, fortunately, he didn't kill me, so I was able to come back al alive. It was a very good went weekend all around. You should check it out yourself. Did you know that in France, what do they call a ninja in France? They call him Le Ninja. How cool is that, right? Anyway, mission for today, because the last couple of videos where I've been talking about MUDs got a lot of resins on the old Reddit and wherever, and people have been asking, hey, do I, how do I play this myself? I want to check it out myself. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to show you where to get the client, how to set it up, how to create a t character. Hopefully that's going to work. <clears throat> And um, a few things about how to configure the cloud. So once you come out of here, you should be able to use this video and get playing yourself on the hundreds. Remember, there are hundreds of MUDs out there. So go to Google, search for Mudlet, uh, or just remember mudlet.org. That's where the client lives. Uh, there's a big download button on the top right, so you probably should press the download button to download the software. And there, here's the link for Windows. It's available for many operating systems. In most of them, the procedure is going to be the same. Download it and then double click on it or single click on it, do something to activate that download and then click next, next, next. I don't have the time to, to click all of these, but it's free open source and multi-platform software. So I'm just gonna click on the Mudlet install file here. And I think because I had it installed before, it doesn't even ask me, right? On your computer, it might actually ask you to, do you wanna install this software? And then you just say yes or next. That's the big secret of installing software in 2020. You click on the thing and you just click next, 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 next. Right, oh, so here we have our Mudlet working. And as an example, I'm going to take StickMud, the one I showed last time, uh, simply because uh, you can reuse some of the stuff from the previous video. So I'm going to select StickMud and connect. And he's looking and he's trying to connect to StickMud. Stick mud. Don't tell me it's down. I'm trying to do a video on StickMud and StickMud is down. This is what happens sometimes. This is what happens sometimes. Okay, we're going to check. Maybe stick mud is down. Well, unlucky stick mud. You, this was your chance to shine. Uh, we're going to grab another one. Zombie mud looks a bit rough. Let's try it. No, Avalon looks a bit gay. Whoop, did I say that out loud? Ardwolf. Ardwolf is a good mud. Yep. Ah, see, okay. So what have we learned now? That that previous failure of stick mud was actually the server being down. So it was not the internet connection. So we're on Ardwolf mud right here. There's 240 players online. Bleed nail. Um, and yep, yeah, here you follow the instructions to create a new carrier uh, character. So either if you have a character, you type your name in here, or you type new to create a new character. So I'm going to type new. Please enter the character name you'd like to use. I'm going to use well because I've never been on this one. I'm actually going to use loser bum. Maybe it'll let me. Yep, yeah, password for loser bum. So none of your business and I have to remember to change this before um, before publishing this video um, and um, yep you see here that the the text I just typed is actually down here in this text window so if I just hit enter again he's gonna put it straight uh, straight in there he's asking whether my client recognizes color remember I told you in one of the earlier videos that Telnet can sometimes be black and white only so he's sending me some colors and asking me hey does that work yes that works so why and enter now I gotta uh, find a class. So what kind of class am I doing? There's a quick description here. We're gonna go for the old, and you can, uh, if I wanted to know a little bit more before deciding, I could like help Paladin. And he's going to give me, oh, lots of things, subclasses and test of faith and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, we're gonna choose Paladin. 
So I'm making a paladin. In um, and my subclass, I'm going to be a knight. Knight. So your race here. So because a paladin's a fighting kind of guy, I don't want to be like an elf or something weak like that. I want to be something strong. Uh, magic and law, no. Dwarf, hmm. uh, Other races available also. Human, elf, diva, giant, halfling, vampire, wolfen. A wolfen paladin? Wolfen sounds pretty cool. Ah, come on, let's go for wolfen. So, this choice of your class and your race is very important in these games. If you pick a wrong one, your char character's always going to be rubbish. I'm not going to tell you which one to pick. You can join the mud and people are uh, probably going to even tell you. How the hell can you play a wolfen paladin? I'm just going to do it. Um, you can choose your gender, your sex. So I'm going to be male because I'm old-fashioned that way. They want an email address. Who's a bum? Ah. Loserbum.com. I'm going to talk about that later. Uh, little or no experience, experience mud players. So here, it's going to ask um, um, how experienced you are. So for us, we're going to say we're not experienced. Um, one, I've completed character creation, blah, 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 blah. Place return to continue. Continue. Yay, I'm in, I'm in. Okay, so we notice one thing about Ardwolf it's got color. It's got built-in maps, but it doesn't use the map function of a mudlet like um, stick mud does. So, yeah, each muddle muds, um, behaves a little bit differently. But we're now playing the mud, so we can start L for look. Uh, type north to begin your journey. Well, I'm going to say N because I don't want to type north. So north, and it's actually showing me a map each time. Welcome, Loserbum. We are seeking you of adventurers to enlist in the academy. Training programs, blah, blah, blah. Can I just go somewhere else instead? Academy courtyard. I can go north. A fountain. And there's an elementalist. So, yep, we're starting to run around the mud. And you can probably, um, yep, you can probably experience lots of things. Oh, there's a bank. Uh, oh, and the recruiter says here, enlist. So it sounds like this is a help thing for, thing for newbie. I can enlist in the academy, maybe give some XP, XP or whatever. Ah, and what do we see here? Because this is a very active mud, um, the, there's already somebody here to help me. Um, uh, this is a real person. This is probably a real player. Hello, Atomic is telling me hello and welcome to Loserbum. Let's see if I can answer. Maybe it's newbie. Thank you, Atomic. Super basic. See, and now there's other people talking. Um, see, people are asking, so wow, let, let's type, so who, that's a command which works in most mud because it's actually a Unix command, who, there are actually a bunch of players, wow, there's actually 200 players and there's a newbie line and people are super active, so if you want to get serious about mud, mudding, maybe Ardwolf is the one for you because you can interact with other people and there's active newbie guys and newbie lines and things like that. A uh, couple of other things. So the map doesn't work. Um, uh, keys important. It just makes play playing so much easier. Uh, key bindings. So I want to. I go up here. You saw that keys, key bindings. I want to add an item. So I want to add an item. I'm going to call it the key N for north. The command which is going to be is north. And then I grab new key. So I click this button, and whatever key I press next will now be associated with north keypad and up. I'm using the numerical keypad as a navigation. Um, then I uh, have to save that item and then I have to, this is really annoying, but hey, Mudlet is free open source software. I have to activate this um, binding so that it's actually um, active. It's confirming that activating the key has succeeded. Now, instead of typing, I can use my mud uh, my, my keypad to go up and down. So my recommendation is do yourself a north, south, east, west, north, east, uh, north, west, southwest, north, east, south, west on your numeric keypad. And I always like to have up and down on the minus plus keys. With that, you can run around very fast. And I normally have L for look in the middle 
um, number five, right? So with that, you can really navigate around the MUD very fast. And as you do that, there's other keys around the numeric keypad, like the numeric insert or delete, uh, which might come in very handy for you. Uh, how come that doesn't work? Um, okay, so sorry about that. I think I need to practice a little bit more with Mudlet before teaching. But at least the thing with the keys work, that's important. We were able to create a character. We found a new exciting mud. All of that's um, pretty cool. So I think I'll keep the video uh, relatively short for today. Um, hit me up down in the comments for more questions. Maybe we can do a live stream one day and I do Q&A. It's easy. Go there in the months. There's a lot of out there. Also go to reddit slash r uh, muds that's uh, or mud a very good resource online for people to help and i think that's about it for today um i'm not actually going to tell you to remember to like share and uh, subscribe and to tell your friends to like share and subscribe i'm not going to say that what i am going to say is that why don't you check out loserbum.com I mentioned this before, but it's out there. I'm going to revamp it slightly, but at loserbum.com, you have access to our YouTube link, which you know, but also to the Twitter feed and to the merch. Check this out. You could own this awesome merchandise, and there is a lot of it. If it's too expensive for you, just steal the picture from here and have him print your own cup. I, I'm not interested in the money for these, but yeah, yeah, you could be the first kid on your block with a genuine uh, loser bum cap or mug. All right, then. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope this was helpful. And um, yeah, you're all, all a bunch of bloody legends. I'm Loserbum, you're the internet, and I am out of here. <laughs>